Welcome everybody to the Grass Show 2020. All right, so right here we have some grass action. Further away grass, and uh, as your grass goes back nice and smooth and steady, and that's probably the hardest grass to do. I would recommend adding some undulating uh, hills. So like this little hill here, I'll even add another one here. If it goes back flat, nice and slow, it's hard to create depth. However, if you guys put in a little bit of a, like little tiny hills in there, I'll show you how to do that. I'll mix up some yellow, and yellow and black make a great green. So here's my yellow, here's my black, and it's a nice little subtle green. Yellow and black's probably the best earthy green you can do. Okay. A little more yellow. There we go. All right, so now I got my greens in here. They look halfway decent. And with here, I have all this, all this is pretty smooth. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back in with using side to side. So far away grass, you wanna make sure that you're using it um, going back, uh, always horizontal brush strokes. Up here, you can start horizontal like the close up grass and then use the horizontal first and go back into vertical. So I'll show you how to create the illusion of like lump of dumps in the hills. So right here, I'm gonna add a little bit of tint, a little bit of white, and you know what? I'm gonna use a smaller brush just so I can show you some details. And you're gonna wanna change color quite a bit. So right now, I don't have a little lump, so I'm gonna create this, you do a base coat like this, which is like darker greens and browns and stuff. And right here, what I'm doing is I'm adding a little line that's gonna turn into like a hill, more or less, like a little uh, slopey hill. Now, one of my brush strokes, I'm gonna be kind of like brushing it and scumbling a little bit. So see the patches and stuff like that? Barely put it in there, and I'll have that little hill come on this side as well. Maybe dip over here. And with this, watch the brush strokes. Blip, spap, dink, and bop. All right, so it's not back and forth. It's not systematic. Now I'll kind of scrub it out to uh, blend it out. <clears throat> then, even though I'm liking the values, now I got an extra hill here. I got a little more highlight to the top one on this one. <clears throat> now I got a little hill action. And that way, every time you have a, uh, like a ledge, like right here, I got a hill here, hill here, and a hill here. Every time you have a hill, you can have different uh, perspective, like different distance away. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna to the same. A little bit of brown, sure. I'll add a little bit of uh, raw umber into it, sure. Raw umber, burnt sienna, now I'll go pure yellow. A little bit of yellow, tapping it in and then getting it further down here. So it'll go darker and darker as it comes down. And this is all going to be kind of part of the base coat. I'll come up to the bottom of that little tree thing tree action and pippity pop that in there so, brush strokes maybe I'll zoom in a little more zoom in so you guys can see it a little better there we go nice and it's not even too glary I kind of like that although I can't I may not be able to see it with my filming there we go okay so now I'm gonna come in here barely tapping it out so watch this Small strokes, tapping it, scrub a little bit, move around a little bit so it spread out the color. And I'll slowly start blending it in. Just a little titch. Now I'll get the black and the green again. So black and yellow to make that earthy green. I'm running out. All right, a little darker green. Oh, that's pretty. Right. And over here as it gets darker, I'll come in here and I'll make it a little more black, more black into the yellow. That way it gets a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go light and generally get darker down here. <clears throat> that way the grass on the top will also stand up. So you're always worrying about contrast. Like if this is light and I wanna go darker, but just like clouds, hey, you have a cloud on cloud action. <clears throat> Hills, you have hill on hill action. So I'll do another little highlight here. Tapping that out. What makes it look good is the small brush strokes, 
changing color all the time. Now here's yellow ochre right here. Yellow ochre is like a friend of yellow. It likes hanging out with it. They're like, they get along really well. They're like friends. Over here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start blending it out. I'm, use, I'm painting kind of fast, but I'm using small brush strokes, which allows it to look like it took a long time. So here's gonna be like a fast, some fast brush strokes. I'll come in here and I'm kind of tapping it, moving it around, small brush strokes, I'm going fast, but each brush stroke is doing something different. You always wanna avoid uh, systematic patterns when you're painting. And so all of this is gonna be kind of textured and uh, back and forth. So when you do this, it'll have different zones. And it is, once again, your reference that you currently have doesn't have any zones to it. It just starts off close, gradually gets further away, <clears throat> way harder to do. Use the same reference, but use this technique of creating like different levels to it. Okay, almost done with that part. A little more of a tint. And right here, I'll go a little bit brighter. Let's establish that a little bit. And fade it out. And the paint is pretty wet. It's not like, it's like fresh paint with a little bit of water on the brush. And I haven't used any of that permanent green yet. That's uh, this stuff. Whoa, where'd it go? I just really zoomed in. This is a very dangerous color. I don't recommend using that too much. And if you do, you gotta add a lot of white to it. I'll try it. I'll dip a little bit in. Watch this permanent green. See how bright that is? Looks like a fluorescent Lego. So uh, I put that little permanent green in there. Now I'm gonna take the yellow ochre, tone it down a little bit. And now get some black and get a little bit of a shade of that going on. Much better. All right, so that is almost it for that level. Nah, a little more of a highlight over here. All right, so now I got the undulating little action here. Okay. Done and done. So over here on this side, I'll do a little bit more on this side, but this side should be smooth, so this won't have any texture to it. So all <clears throat> horizontal brush strokes, but I'll try to blend it in a lot more, not allowing too much of the brush strokes to show. Nice and smooth. Now change color. All right, I'll change color. And ooh, I like this color. Change color. Dang it. Even though I was enjoying that color, gotta change color all the time, otherwise you'll have patches of color which look like a quilt or something same thing with skies okay so the section here all done smooth more texture this is the base coat now i'm going to show you something else we're going to do we're going to take a paper towel i'll zoom out a little more here all right so i'm going to take a paper towel just like this wad it up nice and crunchy then I'm gonna bite off the tip, just like we did with hair. On your on the graphite assignment. Okay. Now it's all sharp and jaggedy. And the key with this is mixing up contrasting colors or values, I should say. And add a lot of water to it. Where in the heck's my water container? Confound it. Hold on one second. Well, somebody's water. And the funny thing is, she didn't even notice. <laughs> okay, adding water to my light values, contrasting colors, a little bit white, so it's like a puddle of wet paint. I'll take this dry, torn up paper towel, dip it into the wet paint. Back here, I'm just gonna barely touch it, so it's like almost like stippling kind of so i'm gonna barely touch it though so it's a light color barely tapping it on there tip tap tap a root so i'm not like going i'm going like that I'm just tapping it that'll give you some grass texture for this distance away so and that's done simple as that so i'll zoom in again so you can see it's so right there some texture but it's further away so smooth but you have some brush strokes 
Here, got some wet paper towel. Now I'm ready to show you some uh, grass action over here. So a little more of the close-up grass. All right, with close-up grass, uh, I'm gonna use uh, a couple different techniques here. I'll start with using a bright brush. That's this guy right here. So I got the bright brush. I'll dip this in the yellow and black, create a nice little green, maybe a little more, yep. And then some of the fluorescent green, if I remember right, reference that she had, had a little more of the fluorescent green in front. I'll check out the color. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so with this, you gotta melt the kitten. So like, uh, take the brush, melt the kitten, so you have a nice little flat blade on it, like that. I'll dip it in the paint. A little yellow ochre, white. So with this, I'm gonna create chunks of grass. So watch this, it's not like blades of grass, it's chunks, little chunky monkey. I would say each brush stroke represents like a patch of grass. <clears throat> like patch atoms. All right, so now I'm gonna come in here a little bit uh, lighter. Lighter color, I'll blend into this so you can see it a little bit better. And now I'm gonna change color. So right now it's all the same color. Can't see it, so now we'll go a little bit darker. I'll add more black into it. But you need contrast, otherwise the blades will turn into the same thing. A little more black more yellow. Now this is super dark. Super dark, blackish, yellowish, greenish. And then I'll go back to milking the kitten again. Keep that pretty sharp. I'll come all the way out to the side. All right, so now I got it all, now I'll like blend it out. So it's gonna be all like a dark little section right here. All right, so with light to dark now, to have contrast, I can't do more dark grass, otherwise it'll blend into the dark grass. I'll add more yellow ochre, a little more white, and a little bit of the permanent green, but not too much. And milk the kitten, a couple more white. All right, so now I'll come in here, now this is a lighter green. I'll do more patches. And there's a lot of different ways you could do grass, by the way, but this is one of them. And I'll come over here, so it's like, once again, just patches. Now it's too much of the same color, so I've got to mix it up. Maybe a little brown this time. There's a little burnt sienna. Oh, burnt sienna, don't you come for me. Okay, over here, a little burnt sienna. Dip in a little more yellow. Bippity-bop, bippity-boop. So all of this is getting there. Uh, I'm a little bit glary on this thing, but I don't know where that glare is coming from. It's a little hard to see, but I'll show you guys later. And the video, of, I'm recording this, so uh, you'll be able to see it better on the phone or the video, the YouTube. All right, now I'm coming back in with more darker values. Patches of grass again, chunks of it. Different, so changing color all the time. Patches of grass, no patterns. Watch out for those little uh, bird feet where they have like three little things and they all join at the bottom. Those are always embarrassing grass chunks. I should show you how to do a bad one. All right, and then if you wanna blur some of them out, so if they're too distinct, take your finger, Kind of blur some of them out so you don't see all the brush strokes. Tap it a little bit, it'll look more natural. More natural. Natural grass chunks. A little dark section here. A little more burnt sienna, just because I can. Go back up here a little bit. It is time consuming. Don't try to rush it. You gotta be patient. Like this is magic show speed and it's still taking me a while. All right, so be careful. You don't have like big lines going across. So now I'm gonna come in here. I'll add a tint. Always changing color. Now I'm adding a tint to that color so it's gonna be lighter. That's super light. 
Look at that. That's crazy light. What I call that? Call that contrast, mother wood. A lot of contrast in the foreground. Cut back here. Skipping around, going all the way to the back. It'll come over here with the same color. So if you don't want to change color all the time, just move your brush around. So over here, I'll do some yellow. I'll come over here, add some yellow. Over there. So I'm not going side to side like a typewriter. I'm mixing it up. Now I got more of that fluorescent green. Now I'll add more black to it. Man, that's you know what I call that? I call that color changes. Color and value changes galore. Secret to painting grass, I would say, is patience. That's kind of deep right there. I'm gonna make a t-shirt that says that. Secret to painting grass is patience. I think that'd be a big seller. Okay, so this is a base coat so far. So right now, this is layer, layer one and two kind of thing. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this brush. Put that up. I'm gonna use a round brush and melt the kitten. Nice smooth blade. And we'll do a tint of the color. So I'll do a yellow and white, kind of a tint kind of a thing. Watch this. So the blades of the grass here. I'm gonna go like, I'll do a big one here so you can see it. Melt the kitten. You're gonna come down. You can flare it out a little bit and spin the brush and have it get skinnier and skinnier again. That's a zoomed in version, but I'll do like small ones in here. So it's gonna be skinny, white skinny. Now we'll do a few just simple skinny ones. Milk the kitten again. Watch it, it's kind of a mess right here, right? But watch this, here it goes. Skinny, fat, skinny. It takes a little while to get used to that. So skinny, fat, spin the brush to get it back to a point. More skinny brush. And you want a decent amount of water on your paint. Um, that'll keep it going. And back here, I'm just gonna do the tops of grasses. So I'm gonna go like in this thing. Tip the top, a little bit there, a little bit there. And uh, same thing over on this side. Little blades over here, bippity bump. A little bit more of an edge on this thing as well. All right. That is a quick version of grass. Medium distance away, far away, using all flat strokes, little undulating hills so you can separate the two or three levels. And here, all the, the large brush followed by a small brush to give you like the nice detail. And I'll show you another thing to do for contrast. Watch this. All right, this is, I call this the magic flower show. A lot of flowers here. Little dots. Now you don't want to look like little dots of paint. So to do that, I'll put the dots in there. Then I'll tap it a little bit to blur them out. Then up close, I could do a couple large ones. Tap the brush down and pull. Put it down and pull. Down and pull and down and pull and pull and flower. Now I'll come in here, I'll do a couple more little guys. And if you want a flower that looks like it's about ready to open, check this out, here it goes. Get ready for this. Down and pull. It's like three of them. Nice. And down here I'll put some babies. It's a big family. This has like, I call these Mormon flowers because these have a lot of kids. Look at all the kids they have. Or Catholic, Catholic flowers. Okay. I have a patch here, different flowers. I got some back here in the background. And that's it. I'll zoom into the camera so you guys can see it a little bit more later on. And then that is the grass show. Grass show part one. Okay.